Republican said it's time to battle the drug syndicates on their own terms and send, quote, our own message to people who kill cops. A rampant drug problem in one area of Washington, D.C. prompted residents there yesterday to bypass the police. NBC's Robert Hager reports tonight on the explosive situation that developed. Police say this rundown apartment complex in inner city Washington is an open air market for cocaine and crack. So when a local mosque of Louis Farrakhan's Nation of Islam offered to send its members to patrol against drug dealers, apartment dwellers agreed even supplied keys so the Muslims could search apartments and examine people they felt didn't belong. But the patrollers became violent when they spotted a suspicious man with a gun. A cameraman from NBC station WRC television ran to record the scene. Then the Muslims turned on the cameraman and reporter Joe Johns. A bunch of people rushed me Three. and I closed my eyes and there were more and more people on top of me. Eventually I was forced to the ground. I was still holding on to the camera. And at some point someone was hitting or kicking me in the face, in the eye. Johns was treated for cuts and a bruised eye. The man who was beaten is in stable condition and charged because he had the gun. One member of the Nation of Islam was arrested for assault. Abdul Alim Muhammad defended the Muslims. We're not vigilantes. We are vigilant citizens of this community. But Washington's mayor, Marion Barry, had a warning. It's unfortunate that it's turned into a violent situation. There's no way we can allow citizens to be judged, jury, and prosecutor. The neighbors want the Muslims to continue their patrols, and police say the Muslims have the right, but have no right to use violence. Robert Hager, NBC News, Washington.